The next toolbar that we are going to study is rectangle. Rectangle is a tool that is used to draw either a rectangle or a square. So by default it is placed under draw toolbar. This is our fifth tool under draw toolbar beginning with rectangle. It is very frequently used in architecture, the maps, the room designs, the table layouts. Maximum things are drawn using rectangle. We can also get a square using a rectangle because we only need to drag and draw. So therefore either it is your choice you want to draw a rectangle or a square. The shortcut for rectangle tool is R E C. No doubt there is a button in draw toolbar with which you can draw the rectangle by clicking it or the other way around is click the command bar simply type R E C and enter. From enter I mean space bar. So how to draw the rectangle is drag and draw. Now students let us practically see how we can draw the rectangle. This is our rectangle tool. Either click it or simply write R E C and hit the space bar. So it is asking specify the first corner point. This let's say this is the first corner point. You can drag it in any direction and leave it. That will become your second point. And see students, we have drawn the rectangle. As I told you with the help of rectangle tool we can also draw a square. How to do this? Activate the rectangle command REC space bar first corner point that is the beginning point and accordingly drag and leave it to a place where you want. So similarly we can draw the rectangle as well as the square. Now students there are some sub options out of which the frequently used options are chamfer elevation thickness width now let us say that we want to draw some thick rectangle let's say i enter as 5 so now next time when you will draw the rectangle the edges or the sides will automatically have some thickness the next very important tool that is very frequently used is chamfer this is the first sub option under the rectangle tool Chamfer is basically used to round the corners or now you can see at your study course screen all the four rectangles they have their 90 degree corners in case you want to make them slanting or you want to round the corners you can use chamfer command let us see how to use it simply draw the rectangle or take a rectangle that you have already drawn the shortcut for chamfer is c h a simply type c h a and hit the space bar this is what your shortcut for chamfer now it is asking you whether you want to give the distance or angle or what you want now i'll go forward with distance option let's say i give the distance as 10 i am going to type here 10 hit the space bar now specify second chamfer distance now see students chamfering is done using two sides so i have given the same distance Now it is saying select the first line. Let's say this is the first line and by default the second line would be the line which is at 90 degrees. Now what if I want to chamfer multiple sides? Every time I can't go to chamfer, so what will I do? First of all specify the distance. After specifying the distance there is last option multiple. Click on multiple or write m and hit the space bar. Now it is saying first line second line now again first line let me take this as first line this is second line again this is the first line this is the second line so in one go i need not to reactivate the chamfer command again and again what i can do is i can simply specify the distance and simply activate multiple option so this way students you can use the chamfer command to trim the edges of rectangle With this this was all about the rectangle tool you can draw the square or the rectangle using the REC option in the command bar or simply click on the rectangle button in the draw toolbar